Good afternoon and welcome to ATD's webinar on the implementation plan. We're glad you could join us this afternoon. Um, this webinar, it's an opportunity to walk through the steps in completing ATD's implementation plan. Um, and before we get started, I wanted to introduce ourselves on this end. Um, I'm Mary Harrell. I'm Associate Director of Programs and Policy here at ATD. And joining me is my colleague, Julia Lawson, who many of you have spoken with over the last year. She's Assistant Director of Programs for New Colleges and does um, all of our support work for our new colleges and recruiting colleges into our network. Before we uh, get started, um, you, you can raise questions at any point during the webinar. Um, you can simply type your question into the box at the bottom and click send, and we'll be happy to answer questions uh, throughout the webinar. In terms of today's agenda, um, what we're going to do is go over the overview and purpose of the implementation plan. We'll walk through the different components of the implementation plan, and there's three main components of this. One is completing the principles assessment survey. Um, the second part is completing the narrative, the implementation plan narrative. And the third part is contributing to ATD's intervention showcase. So we'll walk through all three parts um, of the implementation plan. We'll talk about uh, the deadlines for submitting uh, your implementation plan. And there'll be time at the end as well for questions and answers. So in terms of the implementation plan, this is really an opportunity for you as um, new colleges in our network to take stock of the last year and the work you have been doing um, through Achieving the Dream uh, through your coaches over the last year around looking at student success on your colleges, really thinking about um, where students are stopping out and dropping out, looking at the reasons why, thinking about the interventions to put in place to increase persistence um, on your pathways. So this is an opportunity to um, take stock of the work you've been doing for the last year and to really sit down and formulate two or three key student success priorities for the next couple of years of your participation in the ATD network. Um, so that's one piece of it. And the implementation plan, it's really focused, it's really designed to help you focus in on those interventions that you want to put in place, it's looking at the data that you've collected over the last year. Um, looking at how you've engaged stakeholders across the college campus around student success and thinking about um, the priorities and what makes the most sense um, in terms of the path forward for your college. So the first component of the implementation plan um, is around the principles assessment survey. This will look very familiar to you because as a new college, when you joined the network, you completed the readiness assessment. And this is the same instrument, um, but we, uh, once colleges have joined the network, um, we call it the principles assessment. And this is the tool that we use it's based on ATD's five principles around uh, institutional change. And it's a tool you can use to, to measure how your college is progressing along these, these five principles. Um, and those principles are around leadership, creating a common vision and leadership across the campus, so, so not just at the senior leadership level, but um, across all areas of the campus, um, student affairs and faculty, um, so all of the stakeholders. The second piece is around engagement and how broadly you're able to engage the stakeholders um, in your college around your student success work. The third area is around building the culture of evidence. Um, and so really thinking about how you can leverage your institutional research and your IT uh, capacity areas to help you better understand what is happening to your students um, on a campus um, and where they are, where there is a lot of success along the pathways and where there are some challenges that need to be addressed. The fourth area is around equity and how you address equity throughout all of your student success work. And the fourth area is really around the continuous improvement and creating systemic improvement. And that's the work around achieving the dream um, that we do with colleges and that you're working on is really around how you affect institutional change that results in improved student outcomes. So this principal assessment um, looks at, um, provides an opportunity for your college to really think about how you're progressing along these principles. A few weeks ago, your core team leaders received a link um, to the principal's assessment survey, which is housed on a Qualtrics platform. 
and um, that link can be shared broadly across your college campus. So we encourage you to really ask um, stakeholders across the campus to participate in this. So we want to hear from administrators, from staff, from faculty, um, so that they can, um, they can reflect on the student success work and on your college campus. So the core team leaders will have shared this link across the college campus. Um, and we recommend, although the due date is at your discretion, but we recommend that you ask people to, who, who, excuse me, to complete the survey by April 17th, because this will provide um, plenty of time for you all to reflect on the results of that survey. Along uh, with the link that we sent to the survey, we also sent a link to the core team leaders so that they can monitor um, the progress and the results of those surveys at any time that they want. So you can um, keep tabs um, on the response rate for the survey, and then when you feel like you've had enough, uh, you have sufficient responses, you can then use the results to inform the narrative, the implementation plan narrative that you will complete. And so this is just this um, picture of um, a screenshot of the principal assessment survey that you'll see on fall trip. We're going to move now over to the implementation plan narrative, which is the second component of, of the implementation plan. So I just wanted to spend a few minutes walking through the different pieces of the implementation plan. The first piece is uh, this should be this should be a group project, so we don't intend for any one person on the college campus to complete to complete this plan. But it's really an opportunity to gather together your core team, your data team and others, um, your coaches and others, to really reflect on um, the progress that your college has made, um, really help think and flesh out the two or three student success priorities that you think as a college um, that you're best um, situated to pursue over the next couple of years. So um, as part of the implementation plan, we would like to, um, we ask that you fill out um, who was part of uh, the writing for the implementation plan and the thinking behind what's in it. The second piece of the implementation plan uh, is reflection on the principal assessment survey results. And so you'll see in the implementation plan a place where you can reflect on the results, think about the strengths that were represented in the results, um, and then think about the areas that you need that you want to further develop uh, based on the results of the principles of the principal assessment survey. The third part of the implementation plan is really around reflecting on the data um, that you've collected over the last year. And so really looking at the student outcomes data that you have collected, um, how the, the results, the, um, the disaggregated results of, of the data, um, and looking across um, all sorts of data on your college campus around how your stakeholders are engaged in the student success work, um, thinking about the interventions that you have in place um, to date and how those have worked and impacted student outcomes. So spending some time um, looking over, over the data. The next piece is really around engagement and reflecting deeply on your efforts to really engage everyone across your campus in your student success work and um, looking at student outcomes, and so you'll spend some time thinking about uh, the impact of your engagement efforts. And then the bulk of the implementation plan is really around number five here on this list, the priority work plans. And this is uh, the place where you as a college team will identify the two or three student success priorities and then really work to flesh out those priorities in terms of the kinds of interventions you want to in place, put in place to further those priorities. Um, to think about how you're going to measure progress on the student success priority, and then to really think through the steps that need to happen um, in order for you to be, have a successful priority. And so, um, and think about the people who need to be uh, overseeing this work and the kinds of resources you'll need, not just financial resources, but in terms of the human resources that you need for this, the kinds of programmatic support that you'll need to really carry out uh, the priority. The next piece of the implementation plan is to really uh, do some thinking um, around um, the kinds of uh, scaling that you want to do under this work. And so as you have been um, implementing these priorities, thinking about um, how you're going to scale this across your campus, um, 
you'll also be thinking about um, the way it's uh, part of the whole systemic work that you'll be doing. So while you'll have two or three student success priorities, we also want you to think about how you'll be aligning these um, with each other um, and how it's going to be working across the campus to really affect uh, systemic change on the campus. Another important piece of the implementation plan is thinking about the communications piece. And so how you are communicating out, not just to those on the campus, uh, your students, your faculty, the staff, but also in the wider community as well about the student success priorities, the impact it's having on student outcomes, the opportunities for people to be engaged in this work. So um, the plan, the implementation plan asks that as you as the college to really think about how you will build out that communication plan. Um, the fourth piece, or excuse me, the next piece is really around the equity agenda. And so what that looks like across your, your priority areas as well. And then thinking about the resources uh, that you would need from ATD. So the support that you will want from your coaches, the technical assistance that uh, we can also offer from ATD as well, um, that's really going to help you as a college be successful um, in reaching the goals you have set for yourself around student success. And so you'll be asked to submit the narrative itself um, by June 1st of this year. Um, and this will all, it's all on an electronic platform. Um, so you, by the time June 1st comes around, you will have completed your principal's assessment survey. You will have submitted the narrative. And then I'm going to turn this over to my colleague, uh, Julia Lawton, to talk about the third piece of the implementation plan, which is the intervention showcase. Sure. Thank you, Mary. Um, so as Mary said, uh, we've got three uh, components of this reporting process. Um, and the third and final aspect is the intervention showcase submission. Um, so this is something that we talked about at the Kickoff Institute last June, and some of you may remember um, that the uh, Intervention Showcase is an online searchable database that illustrates what student success initiatives Achieving the Dream colleges are currently working on um, as part of their Achieving the Dream work. Um, so the tool allows you to explore data on these success interventions, including uh, things like uh, who the college is targeting with this intervention, how far the intervention has been scaled within that target population, um, when the intervention began, um, so you can see how far along they are in implementing the intervention, and then how, uh, what student outcomes they're using to measure their success. Um, so you can also uh, uh, complete an online form to request that Achieving the Dream will connect you with the correct people at the college, so you can exchange ideas and challenges and lessons learned um, about those interventions. So. Uh, each year, as part of our annual reporting process for all colleges in the Achieving the Dream Network, we ask them to submit specific details regarding uh, all of their Achieving the Dream interventions. Um, so for you guys, this will be the, in the interventions that you're going to be inputting into your implementation narrative. Um, so in order to do this, you, your core team leaders will receive an email with login information and further instructions. Uh, in mid-April, and you can then use this to complete uh, the required submission um, information. You can also, your core team leaders will be able to add other users to help them complete this information um, or to do it on their behalf. Um, so it, what you can see on your screen now is what the intervention showcase looks like on our website. Um, as you can see, it's fully searchable uh, by intervention type or by academic discipline. And you can also filter your results by college or intervention attributes, such as target population, state, college demographics, etc. cetera. Um, additionally, if you hover your mouse over one of the rectangles, it will tell you how many colleges across the network are implementing interventions in that area and how many interventions there are in total of these colleges. So for example, um, Currently, we have 74 colleges implementing 125 interventions for advising specifically. And so uh, we encourage you to explore this as well so that you, you know, it's a tool for you guys as well. It's not just a reporting requirement. requirement. We do uh, you know, want you to use this tool and to, to ask to be connected with other colleagues. Um, so you can access this on our uh, on our website by going to www.achievingthedream.org forward slash interventions. 
Um, so what you can see now on your screen um, is an example of the type of information we will ask you to submit um, once you receive that information in mid-April. Um, I won't go through each of them, it's kind of what I've discussed, um, but you'll be asked a brief uh, description of the intervention and then some specific items that we ask for all of our interventions. And so we've been through the three uh, aspects of your reporting requirements for this year, which is the principles assessment, the implementation plan, and the intervention showcase. On your screen now, you will see the dates that are uh, the deadlines for each of these. And um, as Mary said earlier, the principles assessment deadline is at your discretion, so you can extend it or shorten it at your will. Um, however, the implementation plan and the intervention showcase are both due by June 1st, 2015. And if you happen to finish it earlier, we are more than happy to receive it earlier. Okay, so that's what we wanted to share with you. Um, so we just want to open the floor now to questions. Um, so please type any questions you have into the question bar and we'll read them out loud and then answer them. And I wanted to also mention that we are recording this webinar, and so we'll be sending out these details. Um, the, the recording of the webinar um, after, shortly after this, so it will be available to you. And should you have any questions pop up, we're also always available here at the ATD office yeah. to answer any questions. So please don't hesitate to be in touch with us. So, and the other piece. Uh, to mention is that this is all available on the annual college progress website too, which is, which is through the ATD website. So you will be able to find a lot of information about the implementation plan, the different pieces of it, and timelines also on that website. We are just looking to see if we have any questions right now. Okay, well, we, uh, we don't have any questions at this time. Um, so as I mentioned, um, you can be in touch with us at any point. Our contact information um, is on this next slide. There. So please don't have to be in touch with me or with Julia um, if we can answer any questions. Um, as I said, we'll be sending out a recording of this webinar. It's another resource to you if you move through the implementation plan pro uh, process. So, we, we hope you have a wonderful rest of the afternoon, and we look forward to talking with you in the coming weeks.